Imagine having a homemade air conditioner that is efficient and economical, and can be made with simple materials that can be easily found at home or in hardware stores. And the best part is that you don't need any technical skills or sophisticated tools to assemble this system. To begin, you will need a bucket. Ideally, you should use a size 8 bucket, that is, one with a capacity of about 7.5 liters. This bucket will be the base of our system. In addition, you will need a PVC pipe, preferably a 50 millimeter diameter sewage pipe, as it is the ideal size to ensure good airflow. With the pipe in hand, make three marks of 10 centimeters each. And using a hacksaw or any other tool you have at hand, cut the tube into three equal pieces. Don't worry if you don't have a power saw. A sturdy utility knife or even a heated knife can be used for the cut, as long as you're careful. Please take the opportunity to comment on where you are watching from, your city and your country. It's always amazing to see where this content is reaching, to meet who is part of this community, and of course this helps me to produce content that is increasingly aligned with you wherever you are in the world. The next step is to prepare the bucket to receive the tubes. On the top of the side of the bucket, make three equidistant marks. These points will be the air outlets of our homemade air conditioner. To create the holes, use a hole saw attached to a drill if you have access to these tools. Otherwise, improvise with whatever you have at hand. A utility knife, a heated knife, or any sharp object can be used to make the necessary spaces, always being careful not to hurt yourself. The important thing is that the holes are the same diameter as the PVC pipes, so that the fit is tight and there is no air leakage. Now it's time to prepare the ventilation. Use a small fan, one of those air circulators that you can easily find at any appliance store. Ideally, it should have about 29 watts of power and a three-blade propeller, but you can adapt it with whatever you have at home, even by disassembling an old fan. Carefully remove the support structure and use only the upper part, where the propeller and motor are located. If necessary, unscrew the parts to make it easier to adapt and improve the fit. If you do not have a fan of this type, Improvise with another similar model, as long as it allows you to remove the upper part with the motor and propeller. Another option is to use a 10-liter bucket if you want to increase the capacity of your improvised ventilation system. The most important thing is to ensure that the air is efficiently directed into the bucket, creating a continuous and functional flow for cooling. Once the holes are ready, fit each PVC tube into its proper place on the side of the bucket. Make sure they are securely fastened without any gaps to ensure the best possible performance of the system. If necessary, use insulating tape or hot glue to seal any small openings, increasing the efficiency of the device and preventing the entry of unwanted external air, which could compromise its operation. Also check that the tubes are properly aligned to correctly direct the airflow. If this idea caught your attention, click the like button. It's quick, free, and motivates me to bring you even more incredible functional inventions based on simple but efficient technical principles that you can easily replicate at home. With the bucket ready and the PVC pipes in place, it's time to turn the hot air into cool air. To do this, fill the bucket with ice. You can make ice at home using regular ice cube trays, pet bottles, or even heavy-duty plastic bags. The more ice you put in, the longer and more intense the cooling will be. The secret lies in the amount of ice and the efficiency of the bucket's seal. Close the bucket with the fan attached to the top. When turned on, the fan will draw in warm air from the room and force it through the ice inside the bucket. The air will cool down as it comes into contact with the ice and will be distributed outside through the PVC pipe outlets. To check the efficiency of this system, use a digital thermometer. Before turning on your home air conditioner, measure the room temperature. In very hot regions, it is common to find temperatures close to 36 degrees, making the environment uncomfortable and even unbearable at certain times of the day. If you are not yet a subscriber, take this opportunity to join our community. Sign up now and stay up to date with all the news, tips, and exclusive content we have prepared for you. Notice the difference. The temperature can drop to around 23 degrees, a reduction of approximately 13 degrees compared to the initial environment. 
This difference is enough to completely transform the thermal sensation, providing immediate relief and making the space much more pleasant to work, study, or rest. Share this tip with friends and family, help more people save money and have a more pleasant environment, even on the hottest days of the year. And never underestimate the power of simple, practical solutions that are within everyone's reach.